Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this uh, short video, we're just gonna give you a quick run through of the different beam effects so you can see how they look um, in different scenarios. Um, on this rig, we've got in front of us four hex pars, four uh, spot moving heads, and a couple of pixel bars. They are um, nine lead bars, but with three zones, so like three separate um, addressable light, lights, lamps, pixels, whatever you want to call them. Um, and you can see how the different effects uh, can work differently on the different uh, types of lights. So we can start with, for example, the simple sequencer, and we're running that across those par lights. Um, then if we uh, drop in those pixel bars as well, you can see how it's running across the pixels and the lights. Um, we can, of course, change that to right, left, um, in, out, or out, in. Um, and that's your pretty much standard sort of uh, sequencer effects. Um, there's also um, the switching effect, which is going to switch up those lights in a different way. Um, as you can see, it's switching on and off, on and off, on and off, rotating the colors. Um, in this case, we've just left the color theme as RGBW. So you can obviously pick a different color theme. Uh, then there's Twinkle. Now, Twinkle will randomly uh, light different lamps in a kind of flashy effect. Hopefully that comes across in the camera. Um, but as you can see, it's it's not really paying attention so much to the pixels. They tend to come on in sync. Um, strobing is a strobe effect where you can adjust the um, phase. And in that case, you can have a, like a kind of chasing phase, uh, chasing strobe effect. Uh, wash is very simple. It's just a wash effect. It's going to be a static uh, wash light, and you can obviously set that to whatever color theme you like or, or solid color. Uh, pulse, uh, the lights will pulse up and down and change colors. Um, pulse rotate will pulse, but it will only change color on each rotation, like so. Um, it's also mixing, as you can see on those top bars it's mixing RGB um, it depends on which palette you've chosen um, phased pulse will uh, work kind of um, similar to the pulse rotate except that the lights will be in and out of phase and you can see that it's pulsing across the lights in a in a in a phase effect color rotate is very simple it's just going to rotate the colors of the selected palette um, rotation HD is not only going to rotate them, it's much faster, but it also um, tends to stick to solid colors. So you get more of a H high definition impact of colors. Um, then there's the random pulse, which is going to literally randomize what color comes in and out, in and out. Um, and it's just completely random. And that's some of those, and that's the second bar of effects we've got here. Um, next, we move on to the standard chaser effects. So the chaser is not so much different than the sequencer except that with the chaser the number of lights um on at once is obviously is going to be different and the effect is um well it's chasing much more visible on uh when you have more lights or when you have uh lots of pixels um that obviously will have a more of an impact um but it still looks cool um you can obviously reverse that right left left right you can also do in and out and you can also do out and in um the wave effect is more like a, I guess you could think of it like a Mexican wave. I'm not sure uh, if there's a, another name for that, but like you see the, the, the wave rising and then lowering across. Again, more pixels, more lights, the better that effect will look. You can also do that left, right, right, left, in and out, um, and out and in, of course. Um, and then the last four effects, so you've got carousel, and now this is, you can think about this more like fairground lights, like you would see on a carousel twinkling, and the colours sort of uh, swip swapping and swip swapping, um, that's that kind of effect. Um, you can also change the direction so it'll be more right to left rather than left to right. Um, alternate is going to basically have alternate colours on alternate fixtures, and it's going to switch them back and forth. You can also reverse that pattern with the right left. Um, so. That's pretty much all of the currently built-in beam effects. Um, what we can do very quickly is just change that uh, color palette to something, let's, I don't know, let's pick some vibrant collection. That's a pinks and oranges and reds. And then you can see how the color mixing will change. Um, and you can see how 
that co those colors are coming through in that simple chaser. Um, you can also see that, of course, in in other effects like carousel. It's gonna it's gonna m mix those colors, um, and of course, you can choose completely uh, solid colors if you really wanted, just to have um, a single solid color, um, and that's 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 fine too. Um, in the case of some fixtures, as you can see in the top ones, it, it's 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 with pixels, so it's kind of mixing. Um, whereas in the other lamps, it's pretty much a solid color. Um, you can always disable the pixels if you prefer to have those lights working as, as one single light. Um, you can do that via the profile config, or uh, you could actually change the DMX mode that you are using on the uh, fixture, which obviously these fixtures will give you the option of using individual pixels or uh, mapping them all as one single light. Anyway, that's the beam effects, um, and that's a quick walkthrough just to give you an example of how they look. Um, you can, of course, combine those uh, with other effects into effect cues, um, which we've covered in another video. Thanks. <laughs>